Well, good morning. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord, Father God, His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We give God the praise for today, and we tell Him thank you. Now, the word for today is uh, Galatians 3 and 15. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, that it be but a man's covenant. Yet, if it be confirmed, no man disannul or added thereto. Now, to Abraham and his seed were the promise made. He say not, and to the seeds, as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is Christ. And this time I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is of no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore, thou servest the law, it was added because of transgression, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. And now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Verse 21. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. For if it for if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture has concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which we have afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was not our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that, faith is come, and we are no longer a schoolmaster. For you are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. I'll stop.